Hi, it's me, Anwen Cooper from Get Fruitful Marketing, and I am doing my latest Fruitful Friday Facebook Live chat. Uh, this is the first one of 2017, so Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about what does business growth mean for you. And I'm going to be talking a bit about um, something that I covered in an event I did last year. So if you miss that, this is a chance for you to catch up. So back on the 9th of December, just before Christmas, hi Jude, I had my book launch, which is really exciting. Um, finally published the Get Fruitful Playbook. Ta-da! Here it is. And I ran an event in Maidstone called, what was it called? 2017 Game Plan for Growth, is what it was. And at that event I was talking about some of the challenges that can stop businesses from growing and how to overcome them, basically. And we kicked off the event with people sharing what business growth meant for them, because obviously it's quite a subjective issue. It can mean different things for different people, depending on the nature of your business and what you do and what your goals are. So I wanted to share a little bit about what came out of that conversation, because I found it really interesting to hear what people um, said. Oh, brilliant. Good to hear you're using your book, Jude. That's what it's there for. Um, people might have seen my last blog post, or if you haven't, you can go to getfruitfulmarketing.com and check that out. It's all about the fact that I don't want people to read this book. Um, I actually want them to write in it. So the idea is that it becomes your own playbook and your own space to think about how to grow your business how to reach more people more effectively, make your marketing more fruitful. And yeah, it's a space for you to capture all of the, those thoughts and your strategy and then use it as a reference to go back to time and time again. So that's great to hear that people are writing in it and using it already. So following on then from this event that I did back in December, the 9th of December, um, the book launch event, 2017 Game Plan for Growth, we had this discussion about what does business growth mean for you and I'm really interested to hear your thoughts so please comment below in the space down there about what does business growth mean for you and specifically thinking about this year coming ahead um, 2017 what what is it that you're trying to achieve in 2017 and if um, we're thinking ahead to a year from now and you have grown your business what what does that look like you know what does a bigger business or a more effective more successful business mean for you so here are some of the things that people said because um, I found this interesting. It might prompt some thinking for you and help you to answer this question about what, what does it mean for your business. So we had lots of different um, perspectives on this. Some people went for the obvious one, which is financial um, measures. So we had people talking about um, more income, more revenue, more clients, more profit, which is obviously fantastic and that's a pretty obvious measure for most people in their businesses, tracking the numbers and uh, making sure that you're in the black, not going into the red and at least covering your costs and ideally making money. But we also had um, people talking about making more meaning in their business. Um, sometimes you can make money and do things in a meaningful way. Um, those are not necessarily mutually exclusive. So we have people talking about um, enjoying their lives more, enjoying spending time with their families, um, having a work-life balance. We had people talking about improved efficiency in their business, so um, putting in place systems and processes to make things run more smoothly and effectively. Happy clients, obviously, is, is a good measure of success, so um, creating more value for the people that you're working with is another way that you can measure success, and that might be through um, feedback forms that you're giving out, or surveys, um, or just asking people, you know, what, what have you found useful about the product or service that I've sold to you? What, um, how can you quantify that? How can you measure that impact on your business? What, what is um, the value that you've received? We had people talking about diversification as well, and also niching, which could be um, understood as two different ways that you can go. So we hear a lot 
these days about the fact that you should pick a niche for your business, that people need to be very specifically focused on one particular, ideally quite small, well-defined target market, because that helps to differentiate you in the marketplace and make it very clear who you're there to serve, um, what it is that you're offering and who it's for. So for some people, business growth might actually be about sort of narrowing down their focus and becoming more targeted and more um, specifically focused on catering to a very specific and potentially small target market. But obviously it needs to be big enough that it's profitable. For other people, it might be about going the other way and opening up to more different kind of clients and customers so m more niches or just becoming a bit more broad and mass market in your approach it might involve adding new products or services to your offer what else i'm just referring to some notes down here um, from what people told me um, for some people it was about having um, a different um, use of their time so being able to spend more time planning and strategizing for them that was a symbol of success in their business if they were able to step back from the day-to-day -day operational running of the business a bit more and be less involved with that and then that would free them up to yeah have more time to plan and strategize and work on the business I guess rather than in it which is a phrase we hear a lot um, for some people, growing their business this year might involve more people coming into the team. So that might be hiring people, having staff join you, or it might involve outsourcing. So maybe contracting work out to freelancers, um, maybe hiring a VA, or um, you know, sending work out to other associates and, and business partners who can help you to fulfill work that you don't have the time or resources to do yourself. Um, um, what else do we talk about? Some people talked about um, developing the capacity within their existing team. So that might be, hi Roz, good to see you joined. Um, so yeah, for some people that might be about training their existing team. Um, or coaching and mentoring them and just developing their skills and expertise and knowledge, maybe sending them on courses, um, giving them time to learn new skills, go out to conferences and professional development events and things like that. So what else do we have? Um, for other people, hi Roz, we had, um, I guess this links back to um, diversification and niching and sort of widening your reach to specific target markets. Um, we have people talking about widening your reach on a global scale, which is really exciting. Um, so I don't know whether any of you are planning to do that and go international this year, but maybe 2017 is the year that some of you are gonna do that. And obviously with the internet now, we have um, the world just at the end of our website connection. And it's, it's easier than ever to reach out to people across the world and sell to them. Um, also with all the changes going on politically in terms of our trade deals being renegotiated with the EU and with other countries around the world, um, there's a big push from central government particularly about um, encouraging people to export more widely um, from the UK. So perhaps that's going to be something that you are going to look at this year and I'm really interested to hear. So if you haven't already um, written a comment in the box please feel free to share in there what your plans are for growing your business this year. So just to recap then on some of the things that came out of the conversation that we had back at my event on the 9th of December, all about how people might grow their businesses in the year ahead. These are some of the things that we talked about. So we've talked about financial growth, whether that's um, growing the volume of sales or the value of sales, whether that's um, increasing revenues or profits. We talked about your time, um, freeing you up to spend more time doing the things that you are uniquely placed to do, doing the work that you're best at, doing the things that you love, um, maybe outsourcing more work, maybe growing your team, hiring people in, um, developing your team, training yourself maybe, um, undergoing some personal and professional development, um, growing your client satisfaction, 
customer satisfaction, so delivering better experiences um, and ensuring that you're measuring and evaluating and asking people for feedback all the time. Um, so Katrina says she's growing her client list and actually using it, brilliant. So that maybe sounds like you're using a CRM system. Um, so yeah, going back to things on the list that people mentioned at my event, we talked about um, improving efficiency. So for some people that might be uh, putting in place systems and processes to help their businesses run more smoothly and that might involve putting in place a CRM system and that could be something as simple as a Excel spreadsheet where you've just literally got a list of all the contacts you've ever collected and little notes about people as to whether they are um, active clients, past clients, prospective clients, um, potential collaborators or people that you might work with in other ways. And what else did we talk about? We had um, Huh. One of the people in the group um, at the 9th of December event said that growing their business in 2017 um, might involve creating world peace, which I thought was a fantastic suggestion. Um, and although it might sound a bit crazy and out there, actually, if you're thinking about your bigger purpose for your business, your, your overarching mission and vision, actually that might be about creating a more peaceful and brilliant world um, so that I think is a really important point to consider as well you know don't lose sight of your bigger vision and the lasting legacy and impact that you want to leave and make on the world and factor that into your plans for the year ahead um, and think about what do you need to do to make that happen how are you going to develop your business to make that happen so yeah Katrina good to hear you have a CRM system a lot of people just don't even have one they've just got a pile of business cards on their desk and it's all a bit of a mess um, or bits of paper with telephone numbers and email addresses scribbled down onto them and it's just